Welcome back to CJG Gaming. Today is how to use a PS3 controller or an Xbox 360 controller for Minecraft on PC. Quick note, those of you who are using Xbox controllers, if you have a wireless controller, you do need to buy the Microsoft USB wireless adapter thingy uh, because the charge wire that comes with it doesn't actually work at all for sending data. You actually need to fork out the money because Microsoft like to take money. PlayStation users, you are fine. Now, Microsoft users can skip towards the time around here now because this first step isn't relevant to you. PlayStation users, if you just go to this website here, which is the first link in the description, this is DS3 Tool or Motion Enjoy. It's a Chinese software. It's all in English though, so don't worry. Now, there are two latest versions, which is 0 0.7, um, and those do work, but I don't really like them. The way they work is really confusing. What you want to do is go down to this third one, 0 0.6, Basically, I'm not going to bother saying triple naught, uh, although it's did. <laughs> if you have a 32-bit system, click the first link. If you have a 64-bit system, click the second link. I have 64-bit, so after I click that link, it downloaded this file here. Just open it up with your favorite extracty program, 7-zip, WinRAR, uh, the Windows one, if you want to. Um, and that will extract this file here, which is the only file in there. This is the install for DS3 Tool, or Motion Enjoy. Uh, it's really simple to set up, just install it to wherever you want. I like to install my files here. And now what you want to do is just open it up. And when you open it up, um, you don't want to click Run DS3 Tool straight away. This comes up with a bunch of problems because you're not the administrator, you haven't opened it as admin. So what you actually want to do is right click the shortcut and click Run as Admin. Click Yep. And what you want to do now is plug in the controller. I recommend you turn off your PlayStation, or at least unplug it from the wall, something like that, because that can cause problems where the actual controller connects to the PS3, and then you're sort of screwed. Now you want to click Xbox 360 Controller Emulator, and just click Enable, and it will come up with the You Did Something noise. Then go to Driver Manager, tick this box, and click Load. Now you must make sure you click Load. It's not essential, but it does fix any problems that I've seen have being had. Uh, then go back to Profiles, click Enable again, and all you have to do is just make sure it's plugged in. Vibration testing, that's working. If you don't have a vibration enabled controller, just click on Custom here and click a random selection, because there you go, it's 1 and 3 on my controller, it's 1 and 3 here. It's a good simple thing. I like to keep it as that so I know that it hasn't connected to my PlayStation, just in case. If you want to triply check, go to Game Controller Panel, and just click here, which is a advanced I believe, nope, properties and what you can do is if you just move all the buttons you can see that it's doing stuff just click OK, there you go, you know my controller's plugged in now, welcome back Microsoft users what you want to do now, all of you, PlayStation and Xbox is go to the second link in the description which is this, this is Mind Control Mind Control has changed since my last tutorial, it's been updated and what you want to do is go down to here which is this thing here, the second thing, and click Mind Control. It's a really weird, faint, purpley colour, and that will download this file. If that's outdated by now, please make sure you let me know and I will fix it ASAP. Now what you want to do is right click this shortcut and click Launch. When you click Launch, it will come at this Java 7 window. And what it should do is ask you for permissions the first time. What you want to do is click Show Options and then click uh, always run, always trust this publisher, something like that. Tick all the boxes, basically. Now, I've already done that, so it's just come up with this window straight away. You need to make sure this says Microsoft Xbox 360 controller. And it should say wireless receiver, it might say wired controller. I don't know, it depends how you've done it. But I'm using a PlayStation controller, it's being emulated as an Xbox 360 controller. That means it's good and it's working. Now you configure this to have you want by clicking the configure button. I like the default one. I do actually usually like to do this back for tab because then when you're playing on a server, you can usually see it. I can't be bothered. Oh, there's tab. So basically, when you're playing on a server, it's like playing Call of Duty. You can see who's who, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, now I'm going to switch over to Minecraft. I should quickly add, you want to keep all the windows open, you want to keep the DS3 tool open if you're a PlayStation user, and you want to keep both the other window open, um, the mind control window, regardless of what console you're on. Now, what you want to do now is just play Minecraft, really. The right analog stick is the movie mousey thing, that's quite easy to find, and the right trigger is the click. 
Now I'm just going to open up this world, show you how it runs. It may look a little bit jittery uh, occasionally. That depends on your PC. Um, I mean, I've got like a gaming PC, and occasionally it looks jittery for me. It could also be the controller, how whether you've looked after it. Um, and I really think this is a good way if you're a PlayStation user. Obviously, we don't have Minecraft. This is a good alternative. And if you're a 360 user, you just can't be bothered uh, to buy it. This is a great way. And if you just want to use a controller, it's great. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials and updates in the future. Like this video if you liked it. That's what the button's for. And send it to your friends using the share button if you want them to find this video too. It really helps. Anyway, I will see you some point soon. Goodbye.